Hi, my name is Sherbel, and today we are on the video number four on how to use the business rules module. In this video, I will show you how to create a new entity and set values for some of its fields. For example, let's say you want to create a new node for of type profile every time a new user will register on your website. So, let's start by creating a new content type of type profile. So structure, content type, add content type. I will name it profile, scroll down, hit save and manage field. For the sake of this tutorial, I will stick with the title and body fields created by default. But of course, you may add as many fields as you like. So here after creating our content type, we will go ahead and create our action and rules. So go ahead to configuration, workflow, business rules. Since we are creating a new entity, we have to create a variable to hold the data of this entity. You can think of a variable more like a container to hold our data. So go ahead to variables, add variable, and choose empty entity variable. Hit continue. On this page, you will have to give a label and description for this variable. I will give for the label empty entity variable and I will add little bit of more description profile node for later use. Also, I will copy the same for the description. Scroll down for the target entity type, choose content because our variable is uh, of content of entity content and under target bundle choose profile so now and hit the save button now this variable consists of of the profile bundle go ahead to business rules uh, page now we are going to create action to fill some data inside this variable go to actions tab add action and select set values to entity variable hit continue also here you have to give label and description for this action I will give set values to entity variable also I will give it I will give it little bit more description profile node set values to entity variable same for the description area scroll down and choose under target entity type content and under target bundle choose profile and hit the save button now new field will appear for us which is entity variable and here you have to choose your variable created and on our case you have only one variable which is already selected by default profile node so for now everything is okay scroll down under this section fields uh, and values for the variable we have to fill in some data inside the field of this of the profile node currently we have uh, uh, for the profile node we have the title field and the body field so let's go ahead and fill some data inside those fields select the field select title give it some value for example this is a title and and hit here under the operation section the add button also once again choose for now the body field and give here the value you may also use content uh, sorry token and you may also use variables for example I will use one one variable here which is related to the current user I will choose the current user name copy close the dialog and paste it in the value and hit the add button now the current user name when creating the node will be replaced by the name of the uh, logged in user after finish click the save button 
so far we have created our variable which is empty we have created another one action to fill in data inside this variable last thing to do is to create another action to take this variable and save it inside this database so go again to business rules page go to actions tab add action and select save entity variable hit continue give it a label profile node dash save entity variable copy and paste it in the description scroll down and choose the variable to be saved the variable is under the entity of type content the bundle is profile and hit the save button now the page will be saved and refreshed and the new entity variable section will appear to choose our variable to be saved into the database in our case we have only one variable which is profile node so click save again so far we have created one variable use one action to fill data inside this variable and use another action to save this variable into the database so everything so so far is good we have to go back to the business rules page now we should create one rule to fire this action so go to rules tab add rule and select user has no select entity insert because our example is to create new uh, node of type profile when new user has been created user is entity on Drupal websites so go to entity insert action hit continue give label entity insert I will name it new user entity insert just for our reference nothing else same for the description scroll down and under target entity type choose user because the entity now is user and also under target bundle choose user and hit the save button now the page will be refreshed and the new section will appear where we have to select all of our actions so here add action as always this dia dialogue contain all actions available for our uh, website but for, for in our example we have to choose the, the, the two actions we already created which are set values to entity variable and set empty, empty variable and the only if you remember I told you I will uh, for, for more description I will add the profile node here because when you have too much actions here it will be a little bit hard to find you, you, uh, the action in question that's why I added a little bit of description so now when I see profile node I know that this is the action I want to use so click on the on the profile node set entity variable now we have one action available add action one more time and add to other action set values to entity variable here we have to to pay attention that the set values action should be before the saved entity variable so first of all when new user will be created from here we will start when new user will be created first action will be this one profile node set values to entity variable to the entity variable after that after setting the values this value is this uh, this variable will be saved so go down and hit the save button go to the home page now we are going to test our rule let's log out and create a new account so go back to log in create a new account email address okay cincha at example.com whatever username give it any username new user password any password you like and create a new account ah, 
okay my mistake I will choose another email address example at example.com give again a new password and create a new account now everything is working so we will have to go back to the logout log in again as admin now we will have to go to the content area of our website to see if one content of type profile has been created for us and as you can see here new content type of type profile has been created for us at this time which is just the same time of creating the new user so here we go a new type of uh, profile has been created so this will be all of the f this will be all for this video see you on the next one and have a good day bye bye